Hello everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Thermal Web Design team. Today I am playing around with some of the new plush papers and I am using some easy tear tape to start this off by matting my photo with some smooth white cardstock and then I'm going to use a piece of textured black cardstock for my background and I've got this beautiful cut file by Pear Tree Cut Files and it's kind of like a cascading star design so I've already cut that out and backed it with one of the pattern papers from the Bros Amazing collection by Photoplay. So I've got that already prepared. I used the Ultra Bond liquid glue to glue those layers together and then I'm just using a border punch to punch out a little design for the top of my page and then I'm going to just put a little border strip um, down the top and the one side of my page with this pretty pattern paper in this kind of looks like a it's almost like a flannel -y or a canvas kind of blue, but it's really super pretty up close. So I'm going to use that along two sides of my layout. So I'm just going to trim out the main section of that paper so that I don't waste it. And then I'm going to use some more of that easy tear tape just along these two sides to actually adhere that to my black piece of cardstock. And then I will trim the whole thing back down to 12 by 12. So you can see there it overhangs a little bit on those ends. I'm just going to trim those off camera so it's back to a 12 by 12 piece. Page. Then I'm just ruffling up these edges. I'm going to rip a couple of these out kind of just so it looks like it was torn out of a tablet to place on here. And then there's my cut file and my photo of myself and my little guy. Um, he was a super, super snuggly baby and um, he was a complete mama's boy for a long time. So he was always snuggled up to me and I was like the only one that he wanted to be around for a long time whenever he was little. So I soaked up all of those snuggles. So I am just going to mat this photo again with this beautiful orange pattern paper from the collection with, again, some more of the Easy Tear tape. I love that tape because it sticks so, so well, and I know that that's not going to go anywhere at all. So I just distressed the edges of that, and then I've went ahead and cut out this little tabbed file folder with an LE Studio die and another one of the pattern papers just to pop in behind that. Then I want to take this ribbon and place down the left side of my photo just to give it a little bit more texture. So I'm just going to cut a strip of that, and I'm going to glue that down with some of the Ultra Bond liquid glue, which will dry clear so I don't have to worry about um, overspill or anything like that or it showing through. So I've just adhered those two layers quickly with my tape runner. And then I'll go ahead and get this Alter Bond glue out to glue down that ribbon to my photo. So that part's done. I'm not going to really add anything else to the photo itself. So all my layering as far as what I'm going to do with that is pretty much done. I've got my title piece here that I'm going to use today, which says Memories. This is an acrylic piece by Colorcast Designs. And I've just popped that out. Um, I was actually scared whenever I got that because I thought it's a little bit large for my pages. And um, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not, but I ended up using it on this page. So I'm pulling out the plush papers here. I have the old packaging, which says the flock. It used to be called flock, but they uh, re redesigned it or released re-released it and updated all the packaging so now they called it plush papers instead which actually makes a little bit more sense because they are kind of like plushy and um, soft they got like a texture to them so they're just fuzzy papers basically um, so what I'm doing here is I ran them through my manual die cutting machine and I uh, did an embossing file folder first and then I am just using my star dies by Ellie's Studio to actually cut out some stars then with them. But I wish I would have cut the stars out first. So just a little tip if you guys are going to do this, um, make sure you die cut your shapes first and then do your embossing because mine kind of flattened out just a little bit whenever I ran them through and cut my shapes, which is pretty obvious that it's going to do that. But I wasn't really thinking about it at the time and I just figured I would do the embossing first and then run them through again and do the die cutting but I just wish I would have done it the other way around and I could have I could have went back and did it again but I was happy with how they looked and um, they were still in, embossed but um, I feel like they would have been a lot more embossed if I wouldn't have ran them through again so just a little tip if you're going to emboss them do that part second just go ahead and cut your shapes out first and then emboss them so I've got my stars cut out here in the teal waters color and also the orange glow color. My baby girl's beside me and handing me a whole bunch of things that I don't really need on my desk and taking things that I do need, which um, she's she's like 
into everything now. She's over a year old and just getting into all of my stuff. And I really hope that that's indicating that she's going to be a scrapper someday like mommy. So let's cross our fingers and hope that she likes scrapbooking and crafting and then she can go to crops with me. So that would be great. <laughs> So here I'm just using more of that Ultra Bond liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and glue down this title piece to the bottom of my layout and then I'm going to add some more letters to it that makes it say sweet memories instead of just memories. So I'm just going to grab some Bella Boulevard alphas from the Bella Florence collection and then I'll add that sweet word on top of that. And then here I'm just grabbing more bits from this Bros Amazing Collection and just pulling out these little die cut shapes and the leftover stickers that I have from the sticker sheet that I cut apart. Um, and just seeing what I have left to use on this layout because I don't have a whole lot left. Um, I have quite a few of these die cuts, but this is really a collection that's geared toward brothers. So this is not a layout that's typical to use this photo for that layout, but I really love the colors of it. So that's why I wanted to use that collection today. So sometimes you, um, you don't really have to have a lot of pieces of a collection in order to create a layout like this because I've used a cut file and then I've made my own die cut shapes to create all of my embellishments on this layout. So I really don't need to add a whole lot more. I just have to glue down all of my cute little stars that I made to enhance my cut file and my photo. And I'm just going to add a little, um, a couple little stickers from the collection and that's pretty much it. So I am just gluing down and alternating between gluing and also popping up some of these solid stars with some of the 3D foam squares by Gina K. So I'm using the half inch size and the one fourth inch size both and just coordinating based on size. I've got that one sticker that I used there uh, from that collection and then I've got another couple little stars here I'm going to pop up. I just love that teal color. That's one of my favorite colors of all time. So I love that the blush papers come in that color because it's just beautiful. And then here I'm just staggering some more stars. I'm just enhancing my cut file. I don't want to cover up all of it, but I just want to add some stars to it to just enhance and give it some dimension. So I feel like those plush papers are just perfect for that because they are fuzzy. They have a little dimension on their own. Um, there's also other things that you can do with those plush papers. You can transfer them using the Deco Foil Duo or Blanco gel. So you can um, use the gel with a stencil and let that dry and then transfer that plush paper directly to where you stenciled using a laminator. And it just, there are just so many options that you can use these for. You can transfer them with some easy cut adhesive and use them in any shape or die cut or um, use them to back cut files, um, emboss them like I did. So there's a lot of different options that you can use these plush papers for and they just add such a cute feature to your layout. So I've got most of my items um, already glued down here. I'm just pulling out some white acrylic paint. This is just some cheap white acrylic from Walmart that I've pulled out and watered down with my paintbrush and some water. And then I'm just flicking it onto my layout over top of those stars, keeping to that centered design there where the cut file is and just flicking that on to create some splatters. I also wanted to splatter that title piece just to give it some dimension. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm just wiping it off my glass mat real quick. My glass mat is super messy right now. It's definitely in need of a deep clean. Um, so I need to get down to my craft room and just do that and do some reorganizing. Pulling out um, just one little heart sticker from Citrus Twist Kits and then some sequins. These are the Marrakesh Sequin Mix by Catherine Poehler and I have that linked down below in case you want to grab those. And I will link everything else down below as well that I've used today in case you want to grab anything from any of the shops. And then I've just pulled out an Autumn Tab stamp set by Ellie Studio to stamp that tab and my date stamp there on it. And then I'll use the coordinating die to cut that out here and attach to the top of my layout. So I have my date on there. I like to put all my dates on my layouts because they go chronological in my scrapbox. So here I'm just adding my sequins in. I'm just using that Ultra Bond liquid glue again. And I'm just placing all of my sequins down, just scattering them about um, around the stars and around the cut file and around all my splatters. So here's the finished layout and how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process today and I hope I've inspired you to create something with those beautiful plush papers. So I'll link them below so you can grab them from the shop. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys. Bye bye.